Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to install Node.js on your Windows 10 machine and then we're gonna get started with the Hello World application. So cue the music. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is open our browser and navigate to the website node.js.org When the page loads, you will be presented with these two buttons with two options for downloading Node.js. So at the time of filming, the current version is 13.12.0 and that has the latest features. Then there's this LTS, which is currently 12.16.2. And the LTS is generally more stable, it's recommended, um, but it, does have, it doesn't have the latest features. I like going for the LTS, it's more stable and it's usually supported for a longer time. So we'll just click on this green button to begin the download. And I'm gonna cancel the download because I already have Node.js downloaded. So I'll minimize, and here's Node.js on my desktop. And so you start the installer, click next, accept the terms in the license agreement, and then click next. And you get to choose the directory into which Node.js is installed. The default is fine. And here you want to make sure that all these are being installed, especially adding it to the path and npm package manager. And here um, I'm going to leave this unchecked. It's not necessary and I don't like installing unnecessary modules. And then finally we click install. And then on user account control, we'll say yes. And that's it, Node.js has been successfully installed on our Windows 10 machine. So I'm gonna click finish. And before we can begin playing around with Node.js, we will need a code editor. So this is a clean installation of Windows 10, so I don't have any uh, code editor installed. So I'm going to install Visual Studio Code. If you want to download Visual Studio Code, you simply go to code visualstudio.com I already have it downloaded so I'm going to simply install accept the agreement and the default folder is fine that's fine and I just want to be able to open with code from Windows Explorer and have it registered as a file type so I'm gonna click all of those I don't want a desktop icon that's just my preference but you can put that if you want Next, and that's the summary, everything is fine. So we're gonna install. Okay, so Visual Studio Code has been installed. So I'm gonna launch it. And let me maximize that. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do, or the um, only thing that we're gonna do, is we want to create a Hello World application using Node.js, and that's also going to help us verify that it has been installed correctly. So we wanna open a new file I will place this new file. Um, let's save it. Uh, let me cancel that. Okay. Um, let me put that in on our desktop and I'm gonna call this app.js. Okay, so inside our app.js, let me just um, zoom in so that we'll have a better view. 
So now we're going to begin creating our basic Hello World application. Okay, so let's just walk through what this code is doing. So in line number one, we are declaring a constant called HTTP and we are importing the HTTP library from the node modules. Um, this is one of the default uh, modules that come with Node.js. And then next we're declaring another constant with our host name, which is the address for localhost. And we're declaring a constant for the port, which we've set to 3000. And then next we're declaring a constant for our server and our server is going to be, so we're going to use the HTTP uh, library and the create server method. And then uh, we'll be passing in a request and a response. So the resp to our response object, we're attaching the status code 200 and in HTTP, a status code of 200 is for successful. So after our request has gone in, this is the response that we're configuring. So next we are setting a header and our header is going to have a content type of text or plain. We can have content types like uh, HTML, XML, JSON, etc. And then at the end of our response, we're just going to put in hello codeswag.co.uk forward slash shop, which by the way is a cool shop for awesome tech and merchandise for developers. So please check it out. And if you buy from there, you're supporting this channel to create more tutorials. Okay, so this is the text that's actually gonna be placed in our browser um, and the header and status code, this is gonna be happening in the background. And then lastly, we are setting our server to listen on the port that we defined. So it's gonna be listening on port 3000 and our host name, as we said, is going to be 127.0.0.1, which is localhost. And when that runs, it's going to trigger this function, which is just simply going to log to the console that we have our server running at HTTP and the host name and port. If you look at this, this dollar sign and these curly brackets, this is just a way of uh, placing variable values within a string. And these are special strings where we're using backticks instead of these normal um, uh, single quotes. Okay, so that's it for our simple Hello World application. We are now going to press Control S to save this file. And next we need to head to the command line. So to head to the command line, we just need to go to our toolbar and we're going to search CMD. And we want to open the regular command prompt. I know there's this Node.js command prompt. Let's open the regular one. Okay, so here we are on our command line. We just want to navigate to our desktop, which is where we placed our app.js file. So let's use the command dir. This is going to list the current uh, directory uh, contents. And we want to do cd, which is change directory, to our desktop. So if we press enter and we do dir again, we can see here we have app.js. So let's uh, enter cls. This is going to clear the screen. And just to check our node, we can actually type in node hyphen v and this is going to return the version number of node.js that we installed okay so now we can actually run node and the name of our file which is app.js so this is going to run the code that we just entered in our code editor and when we do that we get the log that the server is running at http 127.0.0.1 on port 3000. So now let's head back to our browser and check that out. So maybe let me just copy that. Um, I can use control C to copy. 
and in our browser if I enter if I paste in the address and press enter you can see the text hello code swag .co.uk forward slash shop so this is a basic hello world application and this is how to install node.js on a windows 10 system thank you very much for watching please like this video leave a comment if you have any questions or any requests for future videos or if something didn't go right uh, while you are trying this out and i can help you out and then lastly, please make sure that you hit the red subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you can get notified of future tutorials. And of course, head over to codeswag.co.uk forward slash shop so that, you can so, so that you can shop for awesome gadgets and also the proceeds help to make more content on this channel. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.